what up guys welcome to j max sports cards so in front of me is a collection that i recently purchased and i want to talk about this collection i wanted to talk about buying collections just in general what with, with this one it's a fairly inexpensive collection i spent 450 dollars on this collection i will say i, I moved from the charlotte north carolina area to arkansas north central arkansas area and I thought I'd be able to come up here and find lots of collections because I didn't think there'd be that many people buying them. And the, the latter is accurate. There aren't that many, uh, there aren't tons and tons of collectors up here. But the thing is there really aren't that many collections either. So it all kind of correlates. <clears throat> um, so I've been here for about four months and I will say I've been looking for some collections. And granted, I, I don't buy, uh, I'm not at, in the place where I can, you know, go out and seek out, you know, spend five to ten thousand dollars on collections. I'm looking for stuff like this for four hundred to a thousand dollar pack with value, and it aren't all uh, junk wax, which is what you typically find. I found this one on Facebook Marketplace. This is the first one I found in four months on Facebook Marketplace that I felt like was worth seeking out and uh, going to see it. Because when I looked over some of the images, some of the pictures. Um, I did see some sprinkling of some like late 90s stuff, some cooler stuff, um, and some a little bit of vintage as well. So there is a box of vintage. I labeled it as such. Um, so what I've done, I've already sorted the collection. I broke it out. Um, this is a two-row box full of penny sleeve. I penny sleeved them. I cleaned it up. I took it out. A lot of it had you know the dirty yellow top loaders and stuff. So and then uh, this. A one row box these are all 50 cent cards i'll be selling at shows and that's the cool thing about these kinds of collections uh, that's not you know ultra modern not stuff from the last couple of years also not junk wax is uh, this is stuff that people are looking for and uh people like to see it shows because they don't see it everyone's got 2020 2021 optic and prism and don russ you know what i mean but a lot of this kind of stuff you're going to see is stuff that will be a little bit of a differentiation at a show and then then what i did was kind of like a this is like a tier one like more hall of famers and so I, I top loaded them all there were a couple slabs in this collection and then tier two also top loaded but these are between one to ten these are between i don't know three to 20 25 ish in this box um and then there was a stack of these are all autograph cards then there was a stack these are all uh jersey cards memorabilia cards and most of these are game worn um, not a ton of superstars in that but and then there are other serial number cards but this is a stack of serial number cards of not necessarily stars but they're serial numbered so kind of breaking it down as we get into like i'm not going to show every card that would just bore you to death and a lot like i said a lot of this is three to uh, a dollar or i should take that back 50 cent to 20 dollar type cards but essentially this stack of so it's like 36 jersey cards there are a few stars in here some of them might get five dollars for some of them might i might get a dollar for so we'll just call this this will be 50 bucks back from it the autos there's just call it 20 bucks on the autos is the projection um to get back because a lot of those really aren't stars some of those are some uh, unlicensed older baseball then the stack of serial number cards 83 total serial number cards some of them are you know some of these are these uh when they first started putting serial numbers on, on cards sometimes they were like serial number to ten thousand four thousand so 80 I, i'd say i get 50 bucks 50 to 75 dollars on those there that's what i'm expecting to make back on them there was also this box of sort of alt cards not uh sports cards so you know a couple pokemon some teenage mutant ninja turtle stuff so and even some wwe stuff like that and some wcw like rick flair there are some of those cool cards in there um so uh, and i think some kind of like vintage uh, batman so uh, i put 30 bucks 
getting 30 bucks back on that box. On the 50 cent boxes, I won't go through them, but they're all just penny sleeved. Um, you know, let's just call that $125 to get back there. And then, like I said, it's the tier one and tier two, which I will go over here in a second and show you what they are. And then the vintage as well, which this will be where most of the money is made on this collection. The other stuff will just be stuff. Uh, and, and see, here, the thing with this kind of collection is I, I won't be in a super, super hurry to sell it because these aren't players that could necessarily go bust. Like, so I, I, I sorted the collection, all the commons I threw in a, in a uh, just a regular old like box, cardboard box, and I'm donating them. I mean, it's multiple, multiple thousands of stuff that I went through. To this. Just, um, th th I guess that was a little bit of an eye opener too, even going through this 90s, late 90s stuff um, and early 2000s stuff is just makes me kind of leery um, on keeping a lot of these players, you know, trying to hold on to some of these guys because so, so few are actually going to make it. So that's what I found out, you know. I mean, obviously I know I knew it, but when you go through a collection like this and you see all of these guys that at some point, you know, in football, basketball, people thought were gonna be great, you know. I got even in here, um, especially in the 50 cent box, there's a bunch of rookies that just didn't pan out. So, um, you know, that, that's, the, that's, that's, the, that's the name of the game. There are, there are very few goats, like this box of goats is, uh, goats and, su and superstars there's not very many of them so um, definitely just kind of like reminded me of what I should focus on and not get caught up in these in the modern ultra modern the current right now um, so anyway that's another story for another day but but, but buying collections is is absolutely a blast um, sorting the collections going through them is, is an absolute blast um, and I personally think this is the best way in the hobby to make money, right? You know, the flipping cards, big cards, you know, it takes a real, real skill, props and shout outs to those that do that. Um, I do like I do like going to shows and buying big bulk lots. I think that's similar to collections. If you can find a dealer that's very reasonable and fair, that's another way to do it. So um, but anyway, that's my thoughts on the hobby and buying collections is it's uh it's pretty fail safe if you know what you're looking for and if you just kind of um you're just picky you know it's so like i said that i've been in arkansas looking and checking uh four collections for four months and this is the i did buy one other small collection that was 90 bucks it was a bunch of like calvin johnson rookies uh a tops chrome you know a rookie and it was like a marshawn lynch number to like 120 rookie greg olson rookies again uh, it was another collection very small collection of just a superstars established players and again that era of you're not where you're not buying current players these these players have already retired they've already made their mark in the league so that's the only other lot i bought which was 90 bucks and uh and that one, I think I'm going to wind up making, doubling up on that one, maybe two, 250. I spent 90 on it. Um, and, and this one, I didn't even really find too much that I'm going to even grade. I'm just going to sell this one all raw. Um, I just, it just, it just doesn't make sense on, a, you'll see on, on a lot of this stuff. There were a couple, but I just decided against it and I'm just going to sell it all raw. That being said, let's flip it around and I will show you these two boxes here and see what's in it. And the vintage let's uh jump in here take a look at this uh, what i'm calling the tier two top loaded cards stuff like this i'll fly through them it's miguel cabrera um don't know how to pronounce his name but it is a numbered rookie he's one of the first asian players egrin james number to 1200 egrin james materialistic this is a troy gloss rookie scott Rolling rookie, Albert Pujols. Thought this was pretty cool. It's the early Albert Pujols. It's stuff like this in this stack. Some refractors, uh, colors, things like that. Pat Light, Bowman Chrome Green. Devonta Smith, Emmett Smith, Bowman's Best. All these are refractors. Love this uh, Skybox EX. Even the commons of this set sell for, you know, three, four bucks. 
Jerry Stackhouse, Terrell Davis. This is uh, Bowman Reserve. It's a Brian Westbrook rookie, a Marvin Harrison cool insert, Rick Fox rookie. Um, that should be in the game used stack. I'll put it over there. It's the wrong stack. Rashard Higgins playing with the Panthers now. The Anthony Thomas is a purple refractor. Storm Johnson. You know, you get you get the drift here. So that's uh is that? that's Emmett Smith. Piece of history. I'm trying to stay in the screen here. Steve uh, Steve Young refractor, purple refractor, things like this. I won't name them all, I'm just showing you some stuff. It's Jeff Garcia. Pretty cool die cut. Then there was, you know, some of this uh, hoops, basketball, Irvin Johnson, more EX, Tony Gonzalez early, early Alex Rodriguez, Chris Carter, Refractor, this one's a Howard Green, Refractor, Troy Aikman, not sure what this is, but it was gold, it's called Franchise 2000, Bowman's Best, Curtis Martin, Torrey Holt, Rookie, Several of these Keyshawn Johnson rookies. Like I said, these are superstars. Some of these aren't Hall of Famers, but, you know, uh, they were stars. Scott Rowland, Eddie George, Keyshawn Johnson. There's more of that. Donovan McNabb, that was numbered to 1999. Deion Sanders, Bowman's best. Or, or sorry, Fleer Mystique. Um, stuff like that. Barry Bonds and Bobby Bonds. This is innovation, something or another. It's number two, 349, Blake Griffin. Manny Ramirez, Chuck, Chuck Knobloch, Kerry Wood, Kerry Wood rookies. Um, Sabonis rookie, Threads, Lamar Woodley, Robert Woods Prism rookie. So cool stuff here, right? Tiki Barber rookie, Ricky Williams rookie. This one is like, uh, you know, a super refractor or a gold foil. So, this doesn't say it's a one of one, but I'm thinking it might be. So, Troy Aikman hologram, some Jackie Robinson inserts. That's like a Dante Culpep Culpepper rookie, G O F X. Alex Rodriguez rookie, limited edition. Barry Bonds insert. So. Early Jeter, absolute. You know, John Collins rookie. So any older prism, well, not really old, is that? That's yeah, thirteen, fourteen. Red prism. People are build this. People are building these sets and the colors. So, C. Francis rookie, Jose Canseco, Hideo Nomo rookie, Chan Ho Park rookie, C Cecil Fielder, the Gold Bats Bowman. Thought this was a cool one, Jerry Rice, Joe Montana. Here you go. Here's uh, if you ever watch uh, Good Morning Football or you know used to the old crew, Nate Burleson from the Vikings, and that's a, that's a rookie. So low key, Carson Palmer, Lou Rob, Bomb, Kyle Lewis, Joey Bart, rookie, Bobby Dalbat, rookie, Joe Adele. Um, not a rookie, but it's Flair, Fleer Flair LT with Danny and Tomlinson. Here's a Damon Stoudemire rookie. He was a really good player back in the day. That's a Al Horford rookie. Jeremy Lin, Lin Sanity, the hollow. Austin Rivers rookie. Andre Drummond, Terrence Ross rookies. Stuff like that. Um, so all of these, like I said, these we, these would range from you know a dollar to ten dollars. Mitch Trubisky, Blake Griffin rookie, Elton Brand rookie, Carlos Beltran, Gold Cup, A-Rod, Swingman, Deion Sanders rookies, Frank Thomas, Sammy Sosa rookies, Zach Levine, Prism, Crusade, cool insert, J Jermaine Lewis, uh, John Elway, another Keyshawn Johnson, a few of these Mickey Mantle inserts, Frank Thomas insert, there's a Maglio Ordonez Tops Chrome Gold Cup. Another DeMontis Sabonis rookie. Um, all Tops. What is it? Mystique Finest, I think. Greg Vaughn. Scott Rowland. That is a Row 1 Flare Showcase. C 
Chris Carter, another EX, Terry Glenn, Ricky Williams, Yogi Bear, Barry Zito rookie, some of these Nolan Ryan inserts, Will Clark rookies, Cecil Fielder rookies, Air Apparent, Vince Carter, Tory Holt, Josh McCown, Monra St. Brown as an X Fractor, Deuce Staley, that's a Black Refractor to 500. <clears throat> EX again. Oh, that's a Garnet. Air Apparent. Uh, Larry Bird. You see, I mean, not, not, like I said, not major stars, but this Pete Roses. A couple more of those Pete Roses. A few Pete's in here. <clears throat> A Rod, Stephon Marbury, Marshall Falk, Kyle Trask. These are all just some hollows, optic hollows, the refractor. This was also a refractor, a Yankees refractor. This was another like hot pack, Jam City, Joe Smith, Steve Francis, rookie. Um, some more inserts. This was like white sparkle or whatever it was called, white diamond. <clears throat> Tops, Terrence Williams, and a few NBA. This is pretty cool. These give and takes. And these were gold medallions. Jason Williams, Isaac Austin. It actually says gold medallion big. Some years it doesn't say it like that, but you could tell they're gold medallions because they're gold. Uh, Pat Connaughton, Tyus Jones, Miles Turner, Reggie Jackson, Trey Burke. There's a blue prism, short print. Eric Gordon, and these are um, these are Excalibur. So these were inserts in that set. Lord, Blue Lord, Parallels, and so that's it. So yeah, so this all this I figured I could get wind up getting about 250 bucks for over the course of time of selling this stuff at shows and on eBay, or wind up consigning some of it. So there's that, and let's get to the, the tier one box. So I think the front part of this is all going to be this serial number, but these are like um, stars that are or superstars or Hall of Famers, like Junior Seau, and all these are numbered pretty high, but again, these will sell for 2 to $5 <clears throat> because they are superstars, like Troy Aikman, Steve Young. So these silver versions, this is Donruss Elite Series, that's Curtis Martin. They're all the 10,000. Then you got into the gold, and those were numbered to 2,000. So Dan Marino, Steve Young, Troy Aikman, Barry Sanders, Marshall Falk. And then these hit lists, they were also serial numbered. They were numbered to, again, to 10,000. Pretty crazy, but they're still, these are Hall of Famers um, that are serial numbered. So Brett Farr, Barry Sanders, and then this is pretty cool set. Donruss made it. They're numbered to 5,000. It is what if Donruss made football cards in 89. This is what a Barry Sanders, 89 Barry Sanders would have looked like. Pretty cool. There's another what if. So what if Donruss made football cards in 85. This is what a Steve Young 85 would look like. It's Jerry Rice, Emmett Smith, all these are serial numbered. There's a what if 89 Troy Aikman. And, and then this was another insert set, stop action. These are numbered to 4,000. Isaac Bruce, Emmett Smith, Jerry Rice. I mean, I think these are really cool. So, like I said, this is the kind of stuff I'd love to see at a show. And I think a lot of people would. Steve Young, Favre, Aikman, Sanders. There's an LA. This is pretty cool. So, this is a what if. Donner's made cards in 91. And that one's to 5,000. Brett Favre. Dion. There's a what if Jerry Rice, so and a what if Dan Marino, and a what if Deion Sanders. This is a cool set. I really like it. Elway, um, and there's a lot of this, so there's just a whole lot. But these are all the superstars and Hall of Famers in it. There's a what if, what if football cards, Don Rich made football cards in 1990. That's what an Emmett Smith 90 would look have looked like. Um, Jason Kendall, that was number two, 150. 
thought this was pretty cool. A mini jersey of Yao Ming. You can see in the set there was LeBron, Kobe, Iverson, Shaq, Paul Pierce, Dirk, Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett, Howard, Yao Ming, Steve Nash, Chris Bosh, and Michael Jordan. The LeBron, Kobe, Jordans would be cool to see too. Or it would be cool to get. But that was just an, a unique little thing that was in here. Some more of that stuff. We're almost through these. There's another what if. If Donner's cards were made in 83, the Elway. That's what that would look like. And then so we're through all those. Yes, because that's an actual 86 Merino. Um, all right. So that's all of those serial, that serial number stuff. Here's a, uh, it's not a rookie. Would be a Bree second year flare. Derek Jeter early. CC Sabathia gold cup. Jeter medal. Bowman's best refractor die cut. Marvin Harrison, Chris Carter, best performers. Refractor Jordan one on one with the Barons. Um, 85 tops. Dan Marino. Rod Smith, first year Prism, Luke Keekley, Vlad Guerrero, the father, senior, rookie, Robinson Cano, rookie, David Robinson, rookie, um, this is number 2000, Dick Buckus, pretty cool looking Elway, uh, Vince Carter, number 1500, Peyton Manning, rookie, Marvin Harrison, rookie, Ronnie Lott, I think that's a Ronnie Lott rookie. Ladanian Tom, Ladanian Tomlinson rookie. Magic Johnson, cool refractor. Kobe Jam Masters, Kobe Masters of the Hardwood. Second year Brady here. A couple other Bradys. Some Randy Moss, Mystique, uh, Bowman Reserve, Bowman's best refractor. It's Ken Griffey Jr.'s a cool card. It's uh, what's it called? All world team, nice Hank Aaron insert. King Griffey Jr. rated rookie. King Griffey Jr. the rookies. Deion Sanders rookie. Mark McGuire rookie. All rookie, all star rookie team. McGuire. Deion Sanders the rookies. Dante Cole Pepper Black Refractor number two five ninety nine. Randy Johnson the rookies. This was King Griffey Jr. says talking about Richie Ashburn. Big Bang, Mark McGuire, number to 2,500. <clears throat> Donovan McNabb, rookie, a couple, a few of those. Tory Holt, rookies. Maglio Ordonez, rookies. These are all Griffey Jr. Um, some inserts and cool, uh, cool Griffey. So this one's a short printed, kind of case hit type of thing. Midsummer matchup. So it's Fred McGriff on the front and Frank Thomas on the back. Pretty cool. Uh, Griffey Jr. Go Cup. Randy Moss rookie. Some of these inserts of Hall of Famers as Clemente and Mays and Ernie Banks. Champ Bailey rookie. Udonis Haslam Black Refractor. Number to 195. It is not a rookie, but still a Black Refractor. Hanley, Mer Hanley Ramirez rookie, one of these Beckett uh, Dirk inserts, number to 4,000. There's uh, Jason Witten rookies, Michael Vick, cool insert, Dynamite debuts, pretty cool. Marshall Falk, Hollow FX, Thurman Thomas, another one of those. That was number to 1,500 though, a little bit less. Another flare. And then all these were Jordans. You know, Jordan just sells. I, I, I've got every Jordan I've listed on eBay. I think I've sold every one but for between three to seven dollars. Just base cards. More Griffies that are in here. Um, more Griffey Juniors. Trey Lance <laughs> making an appearance. Work done, another black refractor, number to 500. Uh, Frank Thomas insert, Curtis Martin rookie, Brett Favre, Yao Ming, second year, I think. 
Steve Young, Leading Legends, Cool Card, Mark McGuire, Jose Canseco, DeJounte Murray, Rookie, DeJounte Murray, Sean Alexander, Limited Edition, Zach Levine, Rookie, Gary Payton II, John Collins, Donovan McNabb, number 2750, Keyshawn Johnson again, Curtis Conway, Black Refractor, yeah, that was number 50. And then a few early Peyton Manning, Chrome, and Flair. And a Peyton Manning, BGS9, Donruss Preferred. Yeah. And it's so it's a 2000, what would that be? Second year, Manning. And then a Greg Maddox, BCCG. Is that numbered? Probably not. So not much with those slabs, but that's that takes care of that. <clears throat> and then, like I said, there's these all these autos in here, and some of these are no name players, unlicensed stuff. But that one's pretty cool, Jason Worth. But they're all on card, and they are, they are serial numbered. And then there's some Garrison Hurst in here. There's a Vlad Guerrero. This one is not authenticated, but it's signed, so I have to. To sell that one, I'd have to get it authenticated, and so that is Chester Taylor on card, and then yeah, just stacks, stacks and stacks more of those serial number stuff. But that's not. In, there's just a stack of serial number stuff I got over here. So um, that that's what this collection looks like. And for four hundred fifty dollars, I felt like it was a great, great collection to pick up for inventory at shows and stuff like that so like i said uh i think i added it all up and definitely expecting to at least double my money to a, a grand or 1200 maybe 1500 if i were to maximize selling everything here so that would be a triple up if i got 1500 out of it um otherwise looking at you know if i even got a thousand back that would be 650 dollars profit would be very happy with that um and you know i could go through some of this and find tooth uh go through it with a fine tooth comb and grade some of it but it's just nothing really stood out i, I might look up some of those the, the the hall of famers serial number stuff to see if any of that's worth grading if that is i may be looking into that then Last but not least, let's take a look at the vintage. Some old stuff in here. Um, like these are, I'm actually not sure what year these are, but cool stuff. A lot of it's commons. There are a few stars in here. Um, penny sleeves, some of them. These real old ones. Ricky Henderson, several Rickies, Pete Rose, Nolan Ryan, Andre Dawson, George Brett, Robin Young, Tim Raines, rookie. Rod Carew. So, but it's not in the greatest condition. But end of the day, like I, I think I put that I, I'd probably wind up and it's it's there's quite a few, quite a few vintage cards in here. And um, so, looking to get 150, 200 bucks out of this portion of the collection. So, if guys, if you're enjoying this kind of content, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell, get notified when new videos come out. I will say, quick channel announcement. I'm uh. Working on a new studio here. That's one reason I haven't been making as much content is because it's been difficult. Don't have any where to film at right now because I'm when I moved, I used to have my own studio set up at my old house. Well, I've got a new studio that's underway. I bought a like a eight by sixteen shed. Um, um, and I've insulated it. I've put paneling up um, and and whatnot, and put a air, heating and air unit out there. I got to put in flooring and I'll be good to go and, and just get stuff in there and, and my cubes and then get all my inventory and stuff out there and we rocking and rolling so we'll have a studio set up I think I should be good within a couple weeks so once I get that going I'm going to make some more regular content because I've been having some things that I want to talk about you know, you know as far as the hobby goes you know, I may make a video on, on some a couple of these topics but if there's something that you guys wanted to um you know for me to make a video on let me know down in the comment section below if you like this let me know what your favorite card here in this collection is maybe you're interested in something hit me up on instagram on twitter or through an email on instagram and twitter is at jmac sports cards 
My email address is jmacinvesting at gmail.com. Anyway, guys, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all the support. Hope you guys have a good one. Enjoy the hobby. That's all I got. Deuces.